So you have on March 3rd, 2009. Oop. Uh, John Pastor demanded to see a California DMV issued license to a issued license proof of registration and proof of insurance You'll notice in the facts here, these are what you're claiming to be true, right? These You're claiming these are facts. The opposition, when they get this complaint, is going to have to answer these things. And so you want to make each line number, they're going to say, I admit, I deny, or I have no knowledge. So on March 3rd, John Doe was traveling his privately owned car on the county road. They're, they probably could say, I have no knowledge if you were traveling in your privately owned car or not. John Pastor demanded to see the California issue issued a uh, license proof of registration insurance. True. I mean, they're probably going to admit to that, you see. But if you put everything in one long run-on sentence, then they then they can admit or deny um, you know, if one thing in the whole in two-page facts is uh, wrong, then they're going to say I deny it. And, and they you won't get specific answers to specific questions so you, you're trying to get them to admit to certain things so this is the facts and the next thing you're gonna come over to is after you list all of the facts that you're trying to prove that describe um, the, vi the, the violation of your rights right the, these are the facts that are gonna su support once you prove the facts to be true your rights were violated now you're gonna go capital I capital I period um, law of the case. So since you're the sovereign and you can decree the law, this is going to be the law of this case. Not every case, but this case. And so I'm going to um, left justify and I'm going to say um, the bold off. The court takes judicial cognizance of the following. All case law codes, statutes, Etc. noted in the footnotes. So in other words, anything I put in the footnotes, I want the law of the case to be, you know, I want the court to take judicial cognizance and recognize everything that I've noted in the footnotes. There's plenty of other things to note here, but, and once again, we'll take this and move this over to here so that we have more space to write in. And then at the end of, at the end of all that, you're going to go, um, this is the law that you're going to apply to your facts, right? And then you're going to have I, capital I, 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 period, and then conclusions of law. Oops, let's bold this. and center justify, the left justify, and then in the conclusions of law you're going to just to, to say that um, basically since since uh, if I prove these facts and if I prove the law of the case applies to these facts you know, the definition of motor vehicle is 
I wasn't driving a motor vehicle. I'm being charged with driving a motor vehicle. John Pastor did, without proving that he was a lawful police officer by supplying his oath and bond, did kidnap me and take me to the um, booking and you know that he can't prove that he had jurisdiction over me because corpus delecti would say that I had to have injured somebody and there was no corpus delecti so there was no jurisdiction anyway you're going to go that and spell all that out then you're going to say you know wherefore I pray for the damages stated and then without prejudice reserves all your rights by colon and then underline and then as authorized representative of John Doe. And then below that, you're going to put the words seal. And here, I, John Doe. Take the bold off. Swear under penalty of perjury the above is true. So this makes the complaint verified. You're swearing it's true. If they can prove that you're lying somewhere in here, they can send you to jail for perjury. Are you lying about these facts? You know, the law of the case you're putting in. So now you can uh, change this to nine point, makes it look a little nicer. And this is obviously has changed back to paragraph, a single, to single space, you know, put double space, one and a half space, like it should be. And there you go. A signed complaint. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the uh, facts that you're going to list in the law of the case and the conclusions of law, but that's just a general Why is this I, I, I Conclusions of law, yes, alright, that's better so it'd be one, two, three, and then if there was a four, it would be there. You go, the um, Roman four, I, I V, right? That's four. Okay, thank you for watching.